Hello and welcome to our Getting Started series with Oracle Linux Automation Manager. In a previous video for this series, we addressed the inclusion of playbooks and hosts which we'll leverage today. If not familiar with those topics, head over and check out our video, Projects and Inventories in Oracle Linux Automation Manager. So let's get started. We'll create a job template during this video using playbooks provided by a project and run them against hosts defined within an inventory. A job template represents all the parts and pieces required to run a playbook and represents the Ansible playbook command provided in Oracle Linux Automation Engine. Before we get started, we'll need an inventory, a project containing playbooks, and our host credentials at a minimum. Since we've got all of those from our previous videos, let's create a job template. Navigate under Resources and click Templates. Click the green plus button, which gives two options. We want to select the Job Template option and then enter testing for the name. For the job type, we'll need to pick either run or check. The difference between these is the first executes the playbook, while the other just verifies the syntax and ensures everything is set up correctly. We'll select run for this template as I know the specific playbooks and hosts already work. Next, select inventory. We'll use our previously created inventory called my host, which includes a single Oracle Linux instance. For this project, we'll select the MyGitLab project, an SEM Git-based project containing multiple playbooks. Now select the playbook we want to run against our host. Let's select the Hello World.yaml playbook, which connects to the host and then prints a welcome message. Credentials are the last of the necessary options. Select Oracle Linux Keys, which contains the private SSH key and username for the host within the inventory. The remaining options are not needed for this exercise, but may be necessary for your environment. Oracle Linux Automation Manager also allows some of these options to be dynamic and modified by the user at runtime. Click the checkbox near the specific field labeled Prompt on Launch to use this feature. Details about this and other options are available using the circular question mark or by looking in the Oracle Linux Automation Manager and Upstream documentation. Review and then click the Save button. The job template is now added to the summary list and is ready to run. To run the job, click the rocket ship icon. The job launches and then redirects us to the job summary output. The job completes successfully, indicated by the green dot and the successful status. We've created and run our first job. Understanding all of the results data is best saved for another day. Thank you for watching. For additional information on Oracle Linux Automation Manager, access the Oracle Linux documentation or Oracle Linux Learning Library.